Yo, what is good, everybody? Fury Fighter here. I am back with more Situationalist. We are going to be looking at Gimlet from Hawkeye, this one. So, why is this move something that we would even need to look at? Well, it's actually one of the few things Hawkeye has which covers this corner of the screen. Um, and that's important for some characters. Captain Marvel, for one. If you know Captain Marvel, she has this move. And this makes Hawkeye not redundant, but kind of close to it. Uh, once she's in this mode, dashing up, blitz flowing, going through all the projectiles, it's kind of rough for Hawkeye. Um, so being able to go up here, fly upwards, and then do it, really important. But normally, if you're playing against a good Hawkeye, they will punish you for it. If you super jump up here, and you try and do it, yeah, punish. And it's got quite a lot of recovery, so even if we do it later than that, I'm holding down back. I still got punished. So that's really annoying. The other thing, tack on top of all of that, is he can tag afterwards, dash up, full confirm. I believe even Hawkeye himself can get confirmed, but I could be mistaken there. It's a, yeah, it's a rough one. It's a good move. Um, so it is worth us figuring out now how to get around it. Now, I do unfortunately have a little bit of for knowledge because C4IQ does play Hawkeye which is probably the main reason why I'm trying to figure this one out. Um, so I do know he has told me that you can jump it. So let's find out. Okay. So that's interesting because that tells us quite a few things. One, that the point in which it is tracking is at the flash. And that's pretty, that's pretty cool. Um, it also tells us, yeah, it's not super duper quick. It's not insanely quick because there are pre-jump frames, um, you know, a couple... And there is obviously time of travel. So yeah, full screen, we can jump it. I'm wondering, right, let's not go that far. Let's put a foot a little bit closer and let's hold it up, see what happens. Yeah, that still works. A little bit closer. That still works. A little bit closer than that. Still works. Still going here. There we go in here. Um, I did do see the arc. So if we watch this, especially we don't have the awesome Gui Gear function of uh, pausing and removing menu. But the actual angle is not straight across. It's not aiming for her head. It's actually going towards her knees. So the closer we are, the harder it is to jump because we're getting higher in that sort of arc or that trajectory. So from pretty close, we can jump. It's not bad being able to jump from like around here and hold up. That's all right, because, yeah, obviously, if we hold up with this character, blah, 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 you, you know, we get a punish. That's pretty cool. Um, it does, it's not perfect, because, you know, Hawkeye can just simply dash up, then do it. Um, and he's able to change the space. It's not bad, though. Time Stone, that's another one I was thinking about. It has got invulnerability in the middle. It has got startup still, so, but as we saw, the... You know, it doesn't seem like it goes, the Hawkeye's projectile actually goes that quickly. I think it has quick startup, but maybe not, it doesn't go across the screen as quick as I thought it did. So here, we can time stone through. That is like the easiest punish ever. Kind of even with tag, that's probably not great. Eh, as you know, there's quite a bit of recovery. How close can we do that though? Because it might still be useful when we are point blank with him. So, move the little bit in. No. Jesus. Yeah, that, so... Even if, like, just a little bit forward, we are unable to time stone. See, even with one step. Yeah, one step seems okay, just. So, yeah, if he dashes up and does it, you are, yeah, you're getting hit. This time stone is not that effective. Unless we know he's doing it from full screen, which, yeah, you can see where he is, you know. You'll know if he's dashed, but does it work in the air? Yes, it does work in the air. Is it the same sort of distance where we can and cannot do it? Oh, I did it too early. Right, let's try. Yeah, it's a little bit closer, it seems that like I can do time stone. But obviously I am super jumping with Captain Marvel, which means that though it may not have to do the horizontal distance, it is having to do the vertical distance. So I imagined if we were to New, like just normal jump here and not dash 
we shouldn't be able to get out. Yeah, as expected. So the further you are away, the more options you have for that travel timing. That's fine. Um, what else could we try? So tags. Tags have a bit of invulnerability. Um, unfortunately, so, okay, there is something mechanical that I guess I should be talking about here. During the flash, you can actually hold options. So I can hold um, search. I can't hold tag, which I just showed off. I can hold search. I can hold time search. So that means that on really much frame zero that the animation or the freeze frame is done, that it move is coming out. I can do the same with jabs. I can see the same with throws. It's pretty good. Um, tags is not one of those things though. Tags is something you cannot hold, which is very odd to me that they chose not to. I guess they're trying to balance the sort of like weird and vulnerability tags have. Unfortunately for you guys, that means you're gonna have to hear me mash. And that might not be pretty. So let's try tag for it. Wow. Wow, what? Why did that just whiff so much? Okay, that was incredible. Once again. And then that time it hit. Okay, see, this is the problem. If we're doing mash stuff. Yeah, I mean, that works. It's not doesn't work with Captain Marvel? Surely, surely not. Surely the tags are pretty universal. <laughs> so it's hitting Captain Marvel. <laughs> Won't hit when Hagger does it. It could just simply be a timing thing. Yeah, if that's, I mean, that works, but it's, because you're mashing it. Seems like you have a very short window, but it does give me the idea of, when you do this, tagging would be great. Yeah, see, Okay, I could definitely have got a punish if I, you know, wave dashed or just dash linked. But the main thing about that was, did you see how much damage Captain Marvel actually took? Because by the time that she's out, she is a secondary character. So she's taken very little and a bit of red health. And I was looking if it would just hit Hagar normally. That is way more. And then obviously we're going to have a follow up combo. So if... Hawkeye wants to spend that bar to stop me armoring up, forcing him to tag in the next character, giving him less bar, which means, you know, if it's early on, he won't have a counter switch by the time I've finished my first combo, which is like obviously a massive deal in this game. Um, I'm kind of all right with that. It doesn't put Hagar in blocks done. So I might not do this on the ground. Maybe if I like neutral jump height. So if I was just doing, you know, pipe all that sort of stuff if i was just jumping and doing this sort of thing maybe i would tag in uh no even then that's kind of rough yeah maybe just super jump hype so maybe if i was you know playing around with this sort of thing this sort of approach and then wanted to tag in wow that's so wild man that's really inconsistent i guess because she was falling there it wasn't that good yeah so she's falling to the ground the arrow is tracking her falling um uh, that's that's really interesting. So maybe it's only that useful to tag one if you've got something to hold you in the air like a, this would do as well. So if I were to do this and then... Um, I guess the problem is it hits. Or maybe I'll do a neutral one. Duh. So that sort of thing, that will work. Or maybe if you have an air fireball, anything that's going to hold you up that Hawkeye would want to punish you for, maybe it's good to then throw out the tag so you kind of get your free reign with your second character. You might put yourself in a scramble, but yeah, it's not too bad. So, so all of this is full screen. I'm interested to see what happens when we get closer. So with less travel time, I have a concern that we're going to have less options. Um, let's just try her jab. It's not the best jab in the world, but it's a pretty mediocre jab, which I guess is a good point to test on. So point blank, let's just hold jab. No, that did not come out at all. Um, let's try do a actual level three. I'm not. Oh no, that was just an advancing guard, and I'm mashing it. But it's probably the best way to do it in this situation. Come on, okay, there we go. Now, once again, that's a, that's blocking advancing guarding and then doing it. Which, by the way, not much hits done on that thing. Yeah, it doesn't seem like I can just get a level 3 out. And yeah, because you can't hold this doing it, it's just entirely impractical. And might even be impossible. I've heard that the 
holding the button kind of because it comes out your move comes out on frame zero it gives you different opportunities and that is why people want to get rid of easy hype combo it changes things a lot uh, being able to access frame zero sort of invulnerability is pretty important uh, in this game when it comes to shit like that for sure um, what we could do is the lariat so lariat it's a move we can hold it's invulnerable it doesn't require a directional input so I'll be interested in trying this so let's hold lariat down so there is window there uh, which probably means we can activate which is not bad yeah, we recover pretty quickly. I'd be worried about the tag. Um, maybe if your character, you know, a character like Hagar, if they're going to tag as a follow-up to their Gimlet, it's not actually that big of a worry. So if I was playing Hagar, for example, I would do like this, could activate, and then you could Lariat, and then, well, I fucked up my Lariat. Shouts to my inputs, but you get the idea. You would do Lariat, and then you tag in yourself, and you would, you know, have Hagar as a protective shield while you mix up the second character. All of that's not bad. I imagine he's got easy hyper combo. He is invulnerable. So I imagine he's going to get his out. So let's hold that. Yeah. See, if you're not allowed to use easy hyper combo in tournament, which I guess is a rule that people are pretty mixed about right now, um, that won't actually be something that's accessible to you. So what have we learned here? Right. Full screen. Our options are jump. Uh, we can jump. We can time stone as well. We could also tag if we are feeling cheeky. Um, tagging seems like the most inconsistent on the ground. Definitely works, but you are dealing with a button you are mashing. Mashing is not the best for something like this. Like, you see, I just messed it up a bunch of times, but earlier in the video I was able to do it. Ugh, smash. No. See, that to me would be worrying tech that I probably wouldn't want to use. If I can't do it consistently in training mode and I'm mashing like maybe i could get the timing down but <laughs> yeah it's not the easiest thing in the world and sometimes she would just take the hit i wouldn't want my main character to take the hit especially when i've just tagged so counter tagging is going to be hard and they're going to tag for themselves get a combo i would not necessarily do that jumping seems really good um if you can hold things if you have like maybe frank's role uh what else is there captain america's role uh, the cartwheel, though he's a projectile and vulnerable, I believe, so you can roll through it. That would be really good because you can just hold those down. Obviously, Lariat kind of serves to, as an example of just something you could hold with invulnerability. Um, that's really good. Unfortunately, from close up, it seems that directional uh, things are required. Directional input that you cannot just hold simply do not work. Um, but closer, you can use your activation, as use that invulnerability, try and throw something out there and then tag. Um, it's not the worst option, not the best either. Uh, depending on your stone and the recovery and when they tag, they might be able to just simply knee to you, which I'd be somewhat concerned about. Um, addressing the issue at hand with Captain Marvel and this whole thing. Uh, it seems like tagging is really good for this. So, yeah, that's incredibly good. If I can tag in reliably, even though they are obviously going to tag for themselves, she's not going to get comboed he's going to waste a meter that's right with me she's all that health is red life uh i'll show you again it's all red life there's no true damage there so that's recoverable she's already out of the screen that's pretty good um that is yeah 1250 damage uh on a secondary character compared with that yeah literally half not bad at all um, so yeah, for her, that's pretty good tech. If you're super jumping, it's a bit less of an issue, as I said before. So if I'm super jumping up here and then I hold, I can time stone behind just because of the distance. So distance is the biggest factor in Gimlet. And Gimlet, yeah, some of you might be thinking, oh man, you don't need to put this much effort in when they're just going to tag. I still think it's really worthwhile. Like If I can not be in block stun and then, you know, scramble or escape the scramble, with their tagged character, like that's sick. If I can get them to waste meter, that's sick. And if I know that if I'm at the top of the screen and they do, you know, scatter shot, gimlet, I can time stone out, that's also sick. Um, yeah, this stuff's worth exploring regardless of the tag system. Uh, anyone that thinks otherwise is super lame. Um, so yeah, that's, I'm pretty happy with these conclusions. 
one more thing just for this isn't gonna work I just wanna see nah she can't slide it would've been really cool if she could though would've been a lot cooler if she could yeah nearly works you know maybe in another life she could do that unfortunately yeah mashing these like a level 3 out here simply not the one if you got a time stone or any stone already active pretty sure you could level 3 straight through let's just check yeah, hold that shit down so yeah, easy hyper combos really changed the game. And uh, yeah, hopefully I'll be doing one of these every week. Unless I run out of things to talk about, which I'm a big nerd, so I probably won't. Might do some other games. You know, Street Fighter V, Sakura's coming out soon. I play Guilty Gear a shit ton as well. Might talk about Guilty Gear. Also, if you guys have anything in any game of those three, because they're the only three games I really play at the moment, uh, that you want me to take a look at, uh, then just, yeah, drop a comment, you know, we'll figure it out and hopefully we can all learn the process of figuring out these situations in games and all get good at fighting games. And that's it for me, so have a great day and see you guys next week. Take care.